28 addresses, four stations, one prison. How do you win at Monopoly when the ball comes out at Christmas? The key to this game is to maximise the amount you can make in rent so you can bankrupt the other players. To that end, there are five clear rules. Number one, whatever else you buy, the best property to get your hands on is Trafalgar Square. The reason? It gets landed on more than any other, which means more rent for you. Second rule, avoid the utilities and the stations. The level of rent and the chance of people landing on them makes these the least productive places on the board. Only buy if you're already loaded with surplus cash. Rule three, buy the second properties along the road. If you're looking to buy sets from other players, always go for the second sets. The reason, it costs the same to build on as the first set, but the rent you get if someone lands on them is much higher. So for instance, go for the light blues over the browns and the yellows over the reds. Number four, if you've got a set, get to three houses as soon as possible, even if it's only on one of the properties. The reason, you get far more rent with three than two, worth much more than what you pay for that extra house. And top tip number five, the best streets to buy, no question, go for orange. The reason is that the most likely square on the board to land on is the jail square. It appears on the chance card, its own go to jail square, and if you throw three doubles. So if you have the orange properties, then people coming out of jail are more likely to land on those than any other set. And those are the top five ways to win at Monopoly.